Hi everyone, welcome to DMs with Vusi. DMs with Vusi, it's a show where you send us your question or you DM us or you give us a call and you know we respond. Basically it's a Q&A question where you, you ask a question and I give you um, an answer. My answers are not right. I'm still figuring out this thing called entrepreneurship, being uh, an entrepreneur for the past 10 years, you know? and I enjoy it. So hey, let's get it. We've got a question from Matapelo Mfukeng. Uh, Matapelo says, Hi, bravo I am an upcoming entrepreneur. It's difficult to work with different people with different personalities. Would you please help me to distinguish between a good leader and a bad boss? Okay, my, my tapel. Thank you so much for writing such a beautiful message, right? I'm going to try and respond, but I'm going to break it in two. In, in, I'm going to respond your question or in two ways. I'm going to break it down uh, twice and then, yeah, respond. Okay. So you're saying you're an upcoming entrepreneur. It's difficult to work with different personalities, with different, with different, with different people. Okay, so Matapelo, you need to understand that as an entrepreneur, you're always going to get people that are difficult. It's like marriage, you know. Uh, when the minute you decide you want to go into a marriage, you know, you're meeting a stranger um, that you have formed a relationship with. You know, obviously you have different personalities, but because of one common goal, which is love, you know, you're willing to work the relationship and put your personalities aside, right? So, so is business. It's very important to always distinguish your personalities, know the people that you're working with so that you can be a better person, you know? And uh, you can know how to work around them. Sometimes you get clients that are really, really difficult, that are detectors, that are, you know, on your neck, you know? But sometimes you need the business, you know? You can't say to a client, because you've got a bad personality, I'm not able to work with you. You need to find a way to work with different personalities. You need to have a thick skin, you know, like in our industry, you know, you need to have a thick skin. Thick skin is the new name. As long as they're not swearing at you, as, as long, you know, they're not saying things that are out of order, you know. But you need to find a way to work with different personalities. It's like that, you know. Um, Hence, it's called entrepreneurship. Hence, it's called business. You know, you meet different people. Every day, you're selling to different people, you know. And the second phase, the second question, um, would you, you ask, would you please help me to distinguish a good leader and a bad boss? A good leader. The difference between a good leader and a bad boss. Jeez, I can imagine what my staff, they can say about this. Let me see. A good leader, right? A good leader really, really puts his team first. It's not about him or her. It's about us, you know? They lead by an example, you know? They're not just commanding. They lead. They get, they, they get their hands dirty. You know, I usually say to some of my staff, whenever we on shoot or maybe we're brainstorming or we're doing sales or we're meeting with the client i'm like guys i am your rhino what do we need to do you know if it means me driving the team if it means me picking up the gear setting up the camera if it means me directing you know i get i get my hands dirty why do i do that because i believe that a good leader leads by example and he also understands that he doesn't work for himself he works for his team without your team you are not there. Without your team, there's no business, you know? So uh, for you to be a successful leader, you need to understand each and every person, their personalities. You need to understand where they want to grow, you know? How, what kind of life, what do they want out of this life? You know, you need to make them grow. The minute you make your team, or the minute you make them understand that, you know, you are there for them and you care for them, you know? They will give it all. And that makes a good leader. You need to make your team grow. You know, if your staff, they're not growing, then you're definitely a bad leader. 
You know, if you see a person is doing the same thing Monday to Friday, three years in a row, they're miserable, then the environment is not conducive. You're such a bad leader, you're a control freak, you know. So good leaders, they have one-on-one -on -one with their staff. They try and understand where they want to go and where they want to grow and what they can do to make them grow, okay? And a bad boss, you know, uh, and a, a bad boss, the minute an entrepreneur thinks themselves that they're a boss, that's the problem, you know. Boss, you know, they think they're the shit. You know, they think things, they can't move without them. They're the boss, you know. And uh, they're a detector, you know. It's about them, you know. Those are bad bosses. Those are, those are bad leaders. Where it's about me, you know. It's about me, 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 me. Not about us, you know. And all the time, you're just crucifying your team. You never give a shout out to say, yo, guys, you're doing well. You know, sometimes the team, they don't need money. They just need you to say, yo, guys, thank you so much for all the hard work. Let's do it, you know. Uh, you don't understand your team. You don't understand how they're growing. You know, all the time you're just shouting, you know. Uh, you don't get paid. You don't pay the team on time. Uh, you are you are the first person to get paid, <laughs> whereas it should be the last, whereas it should be the other way around. I believe a good, a good leader or a good boss should be the last person to get paid, you know. He should put, he or she should put their team first, you know. That's why, and understand the concerns of your team, you know, where it's not about you. It's very important. So a good boss, a bad boss, it's all about them. It's all about them, you know, driving that Land Rover, driving that Ferrari, to, you know, putting, putting money on their pockets, but not putting money on their team, not making their team to grow and always crucifying their team. I hope, uh, Matapelo, I did answer your question, and thank you so much for writing such a valid, or asking such a valid question. Peace out. Woo! <laughs>